So we're doing the rear brakes on a 2008 Ford Taurus. Got the rear wheels off, uh, five 19 millimeter lug nuts. Break them loose on the ground, then jack up your car and use some safety jacks and secure it. I'm just gonna loosen up these uh, bolts back here. Right there, right there. 13 millimeter bolts, let's just take them out. Of course I broke them free with a wrench. They don't just come out with your hands. <clears throat> you can often stick a screwdriver in this little hole and bigger screwdriver actually just pull back a little bit <clears throat> collapse the piston in a little bit or even all the way if you want we'll get this caliper off Make sure the slides are free right here. If you're a do it yourself and if you can feel that these rotors are fairly smooth to the touch, you probably just go ahead and replace the pads. <clears throat> Although the right way is to get the brake pads, brake rotor machined or replace it. There's a brake pad. pretty thin so you can just put the new brake pads in place of the old ones you'll need to collapse the piston we're gonna go ahead and replace the rotor and pads that's our policy so we're gonna take this caliper off it's like maybe a 14 millimeter bolt it's gonna be a bolt right here and a bolt right there It is a 15 millimeter. We broke it loose. I have a ratchet wrench. We'll just uh, take both those bolts out to replace the rotor. These are the two caliper bolts and you might be fighting them a little bit because they have what's called Loctite on them. You can see the blue on there. That's Loctite, it's a liquid you put on the bolts to keep them from, uh, of course, just coming out. You can certainly buy some at the store, though I think that if you tighten them tight enough, they'll probably be fine. So you might be fighting those, taking those out. So we have the rotor here. We're gonna take the uh, Torx bit out of here and take the rotor off. You can see it's got some specifications for how thin this rotor can be before it should be replaced. 10 millimeters on this rotor is the minimum thickness. It's a T40 Torx bit. Got an impact set up here. I'll use, you may, if you have an assistant, they can actually hold the brakes with the caliper, with everything mounted on, just take the tire off, then have someone hold the brakes down and you can probably break this loose with uh, a wrench, ratchet, and a T40 Torx bit. Oh. 
that is in there tight. This also has uh, some blue Loctite on it, so it was stiff as you saw. Got it off. Are these absolutely required? Uh, I don't necessarily think so. Not every rotor is held on by a screw. It goes from manufacturer to manufacturer. So if it breaks off, it's probably going to be all right. <coughs> Here's where we got the most space. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a collapse. Clean this up a little bit. I'll use some brake clean. Clean this up a little bit. Now this left hand caliper piston is supposed to be turned clockwise. The right hand side is supposed to be turned counterclockwise to collapse it. it does say medium to severe force is needed to collapse it. You don't want to engage it with a needle nose or the proper tool, a brake caliper collapsing kit. We'll have the right tools and we're gonna turn and push on that piston in to get it to go in and collapse it. with my needle nose like this and pushing and turning does seem to be going down some. It is a long process and honestly I will probably switch to the regular tool and to help you out maybe. It might take longer but you could remount the caliper, mount here and mount that on there and give you some stability while you're pushing and turning. Otherwise I'm gonna get out the right tool. Might find a link to the right tool in the description. We're gonna get this collapsed. Here's just a quick shot of a brake caliper collapsing tool kit right there. And also we're just going over here because our brake pads came with new pieces here. We're replacing them. Let's make sure you get them if you do this in the right spot. And these slide freely. It's a good idea to pick up some brake lubricant. Get a little package in my uh, vehicle. It says apply to backing plate only, but you should be able to use this on the uh, slides as well. Put them on the pins in here. Just pull the pins out. Slip the rubber off, pull the pin off. Just like that. Otherwise, uh, that's everything. Got the caliper piston collapsed.
is the other side. So I'm actually going counterclockwise, showing how the tool works. So that's the process. All right, we're gonna put the brake pads on. Just have to push back a little bit because it's spring-loaded here. Otherwise, you're good. Reverse procedure, procedure to install. Lug nuts are about uh, 100 foot-pounds.